All right, hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Um, we got we got the waifu Judith, and we're climbing up the tower to defeat Barlos. And we should run into the others somewhat shortly here. You're pretty strong. Can you use an over limit by any chance? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Then try this. Huh? What's this? The limit duo. Your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful over limits. Oh yeah? If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. So what else can you tell me about these strong over limits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get moving then. Thanks, babe. There, that's the last of them. <laughs> Looks like troll. Yuri. Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, will you? Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. You worry too much. I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Hey, just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. Well, I for one was worried sick. You could tell that was straight instinct yeah, for her to slap the shit out of him. They're coming all the way out here anyway. It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. <laughs> and who might this lovely Critian be? She a princess? Laying it on a little thick there, old man. <laughs> this is Judith. We were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise, but we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great... Old man. It's oh. Raven. R-A-V-E-N. <laughs> Raven. You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. I didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Ooh. I think she likes me. Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. <laughs> were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? Nope, not this time either. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this town. <laughs> oh, jeez. Damn, Flynn. Are you all right? <laughs> he made him flip. <laughs> What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, so things have calmed down. There's no longer any worry of conflict. My people have secured Rago's subordinates, and the Union has neutralized the town's mercenaries. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness. It's terribly dangerous, so please stay here with Yuri and the others. It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up, we've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just going to go after you anyway. Yeah, Yuri. pretty much. Very well. Then we'll go together. There isn't much time, and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Judith went through the wall. Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Aren't you a little old for hide and seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? Um, where he's standing, he was not hiding. 
These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me. So edgy. So mysterious. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. What's up, Yuri? Is something wrong with your weapon? No, I was just thinking about how different axes and swords feel to use. Hmm. Ah, you use both swords and axes, don't you? Yeah, You're just not realizing this? Yeah, depending on which I use. It's not a problem or anything, but... Hmm. Well, I think you look cooler when you're using axes, Yuri. It makes you look stronger, too. Ew. Really? I prefer Yuri when he's using swords myself. You should just use one in each hand. <laughs> Give me a break. I don't know. You know how kick-ass that would be? I wouldn't mind it. Oh, wow. Flynn is, Flynn is actual a party member. Oop, I got a message. All right, uh, let's take a look at Flynn's uh, status picture. I'm actually curious. Does he not have one? <laughs> I guess not. Everybody else does. Nope, he's... he's a ghost. Except this placement is not correct. There we go, now it is. Alright, let's go. Actually, what is Flynn's actual weapon? Just another sword, huh? So that's... That's like three people that can use swords in this game. Go for real this time. Ah, uh -huh. so plot saved me. A spear too. Oh, do you know someone who also uses a spear? Oops. It just reminds me of some jerk. Are you talking about that dragon rider? Yeah. Hey, don't you have something you need to tell me? What? Me? Yes. So where is the dragon freak now? We got separated up on the roof. I'm pretty sure he wasn't too badly hurt. Good, because I can't very well beat him up if he's already injured. Whoa, whoa. That's the whole reason you came here? No. I also can't forgive this Barbos guy for what he did. Don't lie, you just wanted to punch the dragon free. Using Blastia like that. Has he no shame? That's no reason to bring the princess along with you to a dangerous place like this. Flynn, why didn't you stop her? My apologies. We must have missed each other in Dongrest. So that's why what? she panicked How? and chased after you? It's not Rita or Flynn's fault. I decided to come here myself. I couldn't let you go all by yourself. Besides, I can't watch bad people doing harm to others and simply let it happen. I agree. Very well said. Your Highness. Captain Carroll, don't let me down. I'm counting on your skills. <laughs> what skills? Yes, of course. Come on, let's go take that jerk to school. I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping your background to yourself? You've got someone who might kind of explore it if she knew. Sure, I understand. That'll be best for both of our interests. 
<laughs> you think we might cut down on the battles a bit? This old man can't take it for much longer. Really? We haven't been fighting any more than usual. Yeah, but keeping up with your youthful pace is killing me. Perhaps we should go with the pace of someone older and slower? Who are you calling older and slower? Don't worry, you're still young and full of life. Ah, yes. I'm glad you understand me at least, Judith, honey. He was the one who called himself an old man. <laughs> People his age get sensitive about these things. It's weird that I'm almost Raven's age. Never thought about it when I first played this game. <laughs> Kind of cool having Flint in the party. Huh? Looks like a dead end. No, it's not. Look, there's a ladder, but we can't use that to get upstairs. Maybe there's something we could do to bring it down, huh? We need air. Air? Yes. If this conduction tube were supplying air, the ladder might be able to move down. How do we make that happen? How about you try to figure out things yourself for once? Right? You don't know, do you? You're not gonna get it until I really hit you for once, huh? Wait, <laughs> you mean all those other times you weren't hitting for real? Cut it out, you two. Let's go and look for some way to get up there. I can't believe I made that kind of mistake. I should have moved right then. Damn it! Somebody shut this old man up. What mistake did you make? Oh, you sweet girl. Thank you for listening. If I just met that pretty and honey before Yuri, the two of us would be off together just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, go easy on him, Rita. You got a problem. Uh -uh. I guess the old man couldn't care less about me. Um, well, I'm glad you weren't hurt, Yuri. <laughs> Thanks. Is he also a member of your party? Yeah, he doesn't get along too well with people, though. Don't let it get to you. I'm Judith. Nice to meet you. <sighs> Hey, why is he letting Judith pet him? Pop's a fan of pretty girls. But I'm a pretty girl too. <laughs> why doesn't he like me? Ah, uh, poor Estelle. It's cute how much like a child she is. Flynn's uh... I couldn't help but notice Flynn was wearing an outfit in the skit that he doesn't get till later. He's also wearing it in the, uh, the character screen too. I wonder if that's why he doesn't have a status picture yet. Just something they slightly overlooked. Wonder Chef. He slapped me across the face with the golden frying pan and I learned a recipe. It looks like this 
floor set up the same way as the one below. So that means we've got some gears to move. What do you think they're protecting with all these different layers of devices? Maybe it's just their pride as a guild. Your spear fighting is fluid and your footwork is amazing. I love watching you fight, Judith. Oh, it's my pleasure. Aren't all Critians more of the nerdy, scholarly type? More indoors than outdoors people? Yuri's anti-book comments aside, is it true that the Critia don't fight in battles? It seems most of us don't like him very much. So you're an exception? A weirdo among weirdos, then. How strange. I've always thought it was normal to fight someone who was threatening you. Yeah, true. Really? Is that normal? Sure, it's normal. Totally normal. Uh, I see. <laughs> The bottom of the tower looked ancient, but the top is new. It would seem someone built it onto a structure that was already here. I had no idea there were any towers in this area. I wonder when it was built. Well, judging by how new the top looks, I'd say it was pretty recent. Do you think Barbos built it? The Blood Alliance is one of the bigger guilds, but even they couldn't build something like this. Here we go. We must have been putting up the funds. Hey, yeah, that would make sense. We still ain't any closer to figuring out why they built something like this, though. There's still a lack of devotion. You're as stiff as ever. That's why you... Yes, indeed. All right, we're at the top. Back again, uh, you stubborn punk. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, the core in that sword. Is that the core to the Aqua Blast yet? Yeah, it's gotta be. These fools don't know when to give up. Kaponor, Dongrest, and now all the way to Gosforost. I've always hated kids. Barbos, this has gone on long enough. Save what's left of your honor and give up. The I wasn't aware he had any left. <laughs> any further resistance is futile. That's right, you're finished. Oh, this is far from finished. I put ten years into building gas for us spire, and while it stands, nothing can stop me. And with that man and the Empire wrapped around my finger, I was able to build my magnificent Blastia. That man? Think I'm just gonna let you waste the lower quarter's core like this? Oh, it won't go to waste. I'll use this to eliminate Whitehorse, and then I will be leader of the guilds. Then the Empire is next. With this power at my disposal, the very world will be mine. And I'll start with you! Begone, worms! Is everyone all right? Jeez, that sword's a menace. That sword is gonna be a problem. Problem? Is that thing even legal? It is very powerful. <laughs> the Blastia seems to be working just fine. What? What's wrong? <laughs> you haven't won yet. All right, playtime's over. Time to wipe Dongrest off the map, and you along with it! Get down. Hey, the mysterious edge lord decided to help us. Nice. What is that? What happened to not having any time or interest? Hey, that's Rita, never mind that. Uh -huh. crap. Looks like the tables have turned, Barbos. So all that fancy wisdom and the power of the blast here were nothing but a sham. Oh, that's a heavy looking sword. From the start, that I'd have to depend on my own strength. Take up your sword! 
You know, he was so much easier to deal with when he was all drunk on power. Yeah, there's nothing worse than an enlightened idiot. I am the only man to stand as White Horse's equal in battle. Now you will know the power of Barmos the Stormblast! And his blood alliance! Bring it on, Barbos. Get rid of these bridge supports. Otherwise, he'll be able to keep calling in his thugs. One more. There we go. Holy <laughs> damn, Flynn is getting his ass kicked. Got him. It's over. Accept your fate. I feel power running all through my body. Ooh, that's nice. And so are you. Your henchmen have run out on you. That's it, Barbos. Looks like you were the fool who didn't know when to give up. <laughs> Perhaps you are right. Then you'll surrender. That's a goofy looking weapon. I, I won't be humiliated any more than this. Yuri, was it? <laughs> you remind me of Whitehorse in his youth. You're his spitting image. Hope you're not saying I'm going to end up like that old man. Not exactly something to look forward to. Like the dawn. Sooner or later, you will make great enemies in this world. And then that world will consume you whole. Regret, sorrow, and despair will hound you all the way to hell. And I will be waiting there for you. Barbos went splat.
Oh well, world's a better place without him. I'm so glad the core is safe. Wow, the Aquablastia core is so small. So we've got your core back. That takes care of one problem. Yes, but we weren't able to take Barbos into custody. Yes, that alone is quite regrettable. What are you talking about? A creep like that is better off. Ow! Besides, <laughs> I think it's too early to say anything's been taken care of. Yeah, I have to find out if this thing even works anymore. Mm -hmm. Blastia cores don't break all that easily. Huh? Bet you didn't know that, did you, Ra Raven? Jeez, what is up with that guy? Just showing up whenever he wants. You're one to talk, Rita. Takes all kinds, I suppose. He probably headed back to Dongrist. I'm sure we can find him if we need to. I'll go on ahead as well. I left my people with a considerable amount of work. Your Highness, if you would please accompany me. Um, can't I stay with everyone a little longer? We'll look after your unreasonable princess a little longer. Isn't that easier for you too? We'll make sure she gets to Dongrest. <sighs> Very well. But in exchange, I ask that you take the utmost caution. Absolutely no detours, okay? All right, all right. Then I Fine. tell you I leave, Your Highness. Until we meet again in Dongrest. Thank you, Flynn. Why do you look so sad? Are you okay? I was just thinking. I still owe that creep to Deki a good beating. You got the Blastia back. Isn't that enough? Why chase after some stupid thief? Yeah, I guess you're right. If I ever cross paths with him, though, he's in for a surprise. <laughs> it's funny Yuri's voice changed, <laughs> changed twice in the same scene. <laughs> Waiting for me in hell. Huh. Why do you have to go and say that? Hey, come on already. Let's get back to Dongrest. Well, I will take my leave from you here. Off to meet up with your partner? Partner? Who do you mean? We'll be operating individually from now on. That way we won't interfere with each other's work. I see. Well, see you later. Yeah. Oh. I lost the waifu. I didn't have to travel. That's convenient. I'm innocent, I tell you. This is a plot by the knights to destroy the council. He doesn't know when to quit, does he? Where's Flynn? I can't make him out from here. Damn it, Carol. Get out. plan to crush this town once you've all been lured into a false sense of safety on the honor of the imperial knights i swear that we would never perpetrate such disloyalty your flynn shifo the empire and the union have joined in a treaty of friendship what impossible at this moment don whitehorse and his highness yoder are in council together it's only a matter of time until it's made official but how i thought that cursed alexei was tied up in other matters Yes, it is true that our Commandant could only make a brief appearance before returning to the capital. Then, on whose authority? No! This can't mean my plans have been ruined by this... this boy! Yep, it was. will put an end to the suffering of the people of Kapwa Noor as well. Here's hoping the next magistrate they get is more of a stand-up guy. I will do what I can to make sure a worthy person is chosen when I get back to the castle. To the castle? You mean you're going back to the capital, Estelle? Yes. With Rago gone, the rest of the castle should have returned to normal.
but you don't really want to go back. What do you mean? I can see it in your face. No, I... Well, you should do what suits you best. You've made up your own mind, right? I will go back. I don't want Flynn or anyone else to have to worry about me anymore. It's gonna be lonely without her, won't it, Repeat? <laughs> Looks like speak for yourself. <laughs> Oh, man, just let me sleep. Rago, he, he. What did Rago do? He, he, he. Shut up. They say he used his standing in the council to reduce his charges. It looks like he's gonna get off with only a minor drop in rank after everything he did. Ah, oh, that's effed up. This has got to be a joke. It's not a joke. It's the truth. So this is how the Empire works now, huh? Damn it, this is not funny. What do we do, Yuri? Hmm. I don't know. How can he not get punished? Wait, if we tell Estelle, maybe she can do something about it. Hey, don't go giving the princess too much trouble. Damn it. What's Flynn doing anyway? I wonder if he's at his post right now. Doesn't anyone knock anymore? Your tent's wide open, my dude. You knew I'd be coming. There's his outfit. outfit. As of today, I've been assigned the post of captain. So, the birth of the Flynn Brigade, huh? Looks like I've been one-upped again. If that's how you feel, you should come back to the Knights. You'd be able to... Don't waste your breath. <laughs> nope. <on> making captain. <laughs> he Thank said, you. nope. You didn't come down here to celebrate my promotion. No, I didn't. It's Rago, isn't it? Appropriating Nor Harbor for his own purposes, committing treason by his collusion with Barbos, add to this stealing from the populace and the extermination of even his own people simply because he didn't like them. The people he killed were either fed to monsters or sold to those who will pay money for corpses. Sick bastard. That he should be able to do those things and not have to answer for them. The authority of the council is far more powerful than I'd imagined. I thought with this promotion to captain that I'd gotten a bit closer to my goal, but I have to face the fact that the law can't even punish a single person like Rago. You know it doesn't end here. You'll climb even higher until you can make the right changes. True, but many people will continue to suffer in the meantime needlessly. And I consider that, I... Don't go flying off the handle and smacking him around. The progress you made would all be for nothing. <clears throat> if he's above you, you go even higher. And then... Yes. Someday I'll create a legal order that treats everyone with equality. I have to. Good. And I'll do things my own way. Yuri? How would you go about punishing the villains that the law can't touch? Yuri knows. I'm still trying to figure that out. Oh man, you see that glare? It seems I may have gotten a little careless when I thought Alexei wouldn't be around. Flynn Shifo, that impertinent upstart. This is a grudge I won't soon forget. I will bring down the full authority of the council on you. Ah! <laughs> what the It's you. Do you intend to harm me? I'm a member of the council, you know. Hey, Yuri, don't give I a could shit. Crush you with a single command. You won't get away with this. The laws and the council may have let you go, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Uh, st stay back! I got this axe with your name on it. Got your back! Damn, he's a badass. Not every protagonist does this. This is part of what makes him so great. He actually was not afraid to kill. 
Indeed. To do what needed to be done. Damn, that's awesome. Vigilante. Yes, sir. And then repeat got a title for doing nothing. If P was human, he'd probably agree. Because clearly he does. It's too bad we gotta split up. Please, come visit the castle anytime. He'll really come if you say that. What? Didn't she just invite me? Huh. Idiot. With the treaty, it'll become easier for guild members to enter the capital. That's right. Princess, we should be going. Oh, yes. I promise to do what I can about Lego to see that he gets the punishment he deserves. Better say something, Rita. Princess, Your girlfriend's gonna be... leave. What? You see... has not been seen since last night. We do not yet know the details. These whereabouts are being investigated as we speak. What could this mean? Maybe he got scared and ran away. Well, I guess I'll be going to... Oh, maybe to... he did. I want to check out stuff like those air credit. When I finish my analysis, I'll, um, pay a visit to the capital, too. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, okay, then. See ya. from here I want to start up a guild with Yuri that sounds like a good idea your highness sorry I'm ready now shouldn't I go get Yuri no I wouldn't want to wake him all right well this is it yeah I hope we see each other again took off no if you hurry you might still be able to catch her i can meet them anytime i want geez yuri fine if that's how you're gonna be even if i did go it would just make it harder for them to leave what the Eesh. really surprised they never gave yuri a Monsters. running animation when he doesn't have his weapon Or I guess he did just now, and Carol, they didn't animate it. Did the thing is? No, I've never seen anything like that before. It's coming down. Come on, Carol. What? Hey, wait! Just when I get to relax, I get dragged into another mess. Yuri, fate really is out to get you. Hey, it's not all my fault. You had a role in this too. But I never ran into gigantic monsters or got arrested by knights before I met you. Well, things didn't go bad for me until I left the capital with Estelle. So that means... Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Estelle's fault. What is going on here? Yuri, protect her highness. Yuri, look. This way, foul fiend. Why is it just ignoring us? Yeah, it's a giant chicken. It's a giant fiery chicken. Is it coming for me? The commandant. But why is he here? 
Our finest night. I am left with no choice. We will stop this beast with the help of Heracles. Yuri, wait! There's nothing more you can do! <laughs> you expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. It can speak! Who... who are you? Yuri! You're safe. I'm not sure if I like this weird CGI. <laughs> Keep Flynn waiting. It's for you to decide. Then I. I want to continue the journey as well. Hmm. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Way to go, Alexei. Judas? Hey, waifu. Don't! It's too dangerous! Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. Huh? Why is it taking off? Yuri! Lady Estelis! Wait! Here comes the cavalry. They ain't getting crossed that bridge. I'm sorry, Flynn. I realize now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. You know, you are speaking over a broken bridge. You might want to speak a little louder. Flynn, get this core back to the lower quarter. Yuri! I won't be going back to the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Yuri! A guild? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way? Not quite. Yeah, I finally made up my mind. That's fine, but what about Princess? Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! Alright, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us. Seeker of the truth. All right, got Estelle and Judy back. That huge flying monster actually talked, right? You ever heard of a monster like that? I've never seen or heard of anything like that. I don't think anybody in the Hunting Blades has. Man, first that thing at Karabakram and now this. The world's just full of surprises. I don't care how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough to fight that thing. Yeah, not even I feel like taking on a monster like that. Alright, Carol, get out. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I actually might have to think about where I have to go next. I'm pretty sure it's back to Heliord, but... Um, yeah, until then guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.